Hi, I'm Ross Jacobs. Welcome to the lifestyle of the rich and famous clinician. This is how I spend my downtime between clinics. Today I'm going to uh, show you a clip from a clinic I did a couple of weeks ago in Canberra. A lady, uh, Maxine MacArthur, who organised the clinic, she brought her very sweet pony Indy and indicated that Indy had a fear of uh, carts. Uh, where she boards Indy, there are some people with there that do a bit of harness work and Indy has a habit of freaking out whenever she sees the carts. So we played with this during the clinic and to give uh, Maxine a couple of ideas of how she might help Indy in future. And uh, a fellow there, Boris, kindly videotaped some of it and allowed me to use it for this clip. So we'll, we'll move on. I'll show you what happened and then we'll come back and I'll talk about some of the really pertinent points that I feel are take-home messages from that. Okay, let's go. That means you guys need to have communication because you can't one can't go right and the other one can't go left. Just come on back a little. So bring her around this way and sort of come close. Indy can go past. You can come across, cut the middle, and Indy can go past. Now keep see she's left. And you were late to do anything about it. Okay. So, okay, just hang there for a go. Take, take five. So, the thing that you that I see here is that you're concentrated on controlling her movement. You're not control, concentrating on getting her to change her feelings. So you, as long as you're not getting run over and she's not bolting off, things are sort of getting by but it's not going to get better until she just gives it up and she's seen this a thousand times. And then she, the trouble is, you get her so used to it, she's seen it a thousand times in the arena, but now she'll see it down on the driveway and it'll all start up again. Yeah. So can I play with her for a little bit? No, it's not okay. Get here. Oh, she's going to end up a bay if she's not careful. Come over here, you dopey animal. Get over yourself. We have done a bit of this when it's Get, Let go of that thought. Let it go. Hey, change your thought. Now let it go. Take that foot back. Why? Just the foot. Bring that foot forward. Good. Now bring that foot across. Over there. Just cross. Now stop there. What is the problem? Yeah. She she had plans. She heard Wagga was lovely this time of year. Now stop there. Okay. 
why don't you guys pick it up again? Hey, let it go. Just take it for a take it for a walk if you would. Let it go. Let it go. Let's go. Come on. Let it go. I'm talking to you. Step over there. Come on. Step over there. I think I was talking to some other horse. Come on. Let it go. So when I say let it go, she's just bracing in my hand. So you're asking with your hand to her to... Step. Yeah. Circle around me. Leg yielding. And she's focused on that horse. And I'm not letting this go until she softens. And that this way is nothing. I don't care. You're not that afraid. If she was genuinely scared, I wouldn't go with this approach. But she's not. She's not sure. She's absolutely unsure. But she's not afraid, as afraid as she makes out. As her feet would indicate. She's just got a bit of a pattern here. Yeah. What, what is it that tells you that she's not that afraid? Because she has moments where she forgets it all about it. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Let's go. I'm going to go on the outside of you. Come on. Which way are you going, left or right? Which way do you want to go? I don't care. Since when does anyone care what I want? <laughs> like there was a moment where she kind of looked out the arena. That's yeah. a sign that she's not actually that. Yep. Yeah. If she was that bothered about it, she'd constantly have it. Yep. Yeah. Anyone else want to go? <laughs> I'll sit in the chair. <laughs> Just sit in the chair all day, can I? <laughs> 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 can we get a photo of this? <laughs> 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 this is a good photo. <laughs> Thank you, Edda. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to come and we're going to go past you. So I'm coming over here and I'm going to walk past you guys. Side of you guys. Yep. See, she... Thanks, guys. Yeah, you. She's doing it on her own. And you need to help stop that. Does that help? We can do it some more tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Um, does anyone have any questions about that? Did you see that the change came because I said, you would need to be here with me. That was your job. That's, I understand you have worries, but they're not that big. You'd be here with me. And if she was generally fearful that this was going to get her killed, then changing her saying be with he, here with me wouldn't have changed that response. Hi, hey, Helen. Yeah, but you're going to have to mix it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh, you're going to have to... There'll be a horse coming someday. Yeah, and that's going to probably change everything yeah. again. But it's the same principle, Max. Be here with me. And if she can't, 
be mindful of that, but try and get it as much togetherness as you can. But be mindful that she may have to save her life any one, any one moment, and that may, might mean jumping over the top of you. So, if that's the case, if I quite feel that she really can't, then I could put my Absolutely. Yes. You, yes. you don't impose it so much. Can, you give her more time. Yeah. yeah. And then when we've got a change, then we can... Yeah. yeah. So a horse that had real genuine fear of things, you don't try and make them deal with it. You creep in bit by bit. But her fear is is not nearly what she makes it out to be. And I'm not saying she's lying, no, no, but no, she's no, reacting. I haven't, I haven't if she had learned to be with you more, then it would dissipate so much more. And it would be the same under saddle. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Thanks, guys. You want an out? Yeah, we don't need it. So I hope you could see from that video that the secret to helping Indy with the cart was not to just desensitize Indy to the cart, not just expose her over and over and over. The secret was to get her attention on me. I firmed up several times with Indy, but it was never to say you're not allowed to express your feelings. It was to say change your feelings. Change your focus. As Indy got more and more attentive to me and less attentive to the cart, she got softer. And you'll see that when she got really bracy, I firmed up. But the moment her mind came back to me, I went really quiet and I could direct a foot here and a foot there. It's not about directing the feet first. It's about directing her thoughts, her focus to be on me and not the cart. And then that will then proceed into changing her feelings because I'll be more important. And when I'm more important, I go really quiet and she feels okay. Then she can follow the feel and the cart doesn't become nearly as big a problem. Most forms of training in the, in, with this sort of situation revolves getting a horse to go up to the cart or whatever they're afraid of and say, just get used to it. You can't run away, but nothing about changing their feelings and everything, every feel, every little pressure I applied to Indy was to get her to change her thought and change her feelings, not to get her just used to and desensitized to the cart. This is so important. Now, the other thing I want to say is that I knew from the get go that Indy's fear was not nearly as big as her, she would indicate by her reaction. And the reason I know this is because Indy has a little history where she gets overreactive. And in her mind, that's what saves her. When she's done it in the past, it's what saves her. But her fear is not nearly as strong as she indicates. And that allows me to come in there and tap into a change of thought much easier. If she had been genuinely fearful for her life about the cart, then I would have crept in a lot slower, given her more time, asked a lot less of her, and we would have got to the same point we did in the video. It just would have taken a little longer. So you have to know the horse that you're dealing with before you can decide the strategy you're going to use. I hope that's useful and gives you plenty to think about. Good night, Alice. Wherever you are, I wish you were here, but wherever you are, I hope it's a good night. Now, back to the hard work of getting a tan. Mm -hmm.